Turning to weather, Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett here with us this evening. Yeah, this is I'm not, terrified your, not, your, not your favorite lead in, is it? Ever. <laughs> you know, I don't know why the producers do this to I'm me. I'm sorry. But, you know. Sorry. Uh, so they, they were really, I don't know where they were released, but I'm not going to be anywhere close by, Doug. They only but, put one in your backyard. The rest are in Louisiana. Oh, okay, perfect. One's <laughs> enough for me to move. All right, uh, weekend forecast, and I know we need snakes for all the environment, ecosystem, yada, yada, yada. All right, this weekend, if you're going to be out and about in your backyard and maybe doing some gardening, temperatures on Saturday in the mid 80s, clouds will increase through the day. Now going into Saturday night, we start to see those rain chances increase with a slow moving cold front on the way. Ahead of it, it's going to be another breezy day. South winds at 15 to 25. So planning your weekend, Saturday's the day to get outside. Don't wash the car though, because Sunday we have the rain that's going to help you out just a bit. A lot of rain on the way. Rain chances around 70% going up Sunday night overnight to about 100%. Some storms are likely into the afternoon. Heavy rain at times. South winds switching to the north at 15 to 25. So let's walk you through that with the first alert future cast. You can see these storms returning for us as we go in at two Monday. We're going to be seeing that shower activity working its way on in those isolated storms in the afternoon into the evening hours. Then you can see overnight still into the early morning hours some widespread rain around. So not enough to really cause a lot of issues on the roads, but you might want to leave a little extra early on Monday morning by Monday night. Still some rain in the southeast sides of North Texas. So how much rain can we expect in some spots as much as two and a half to near three inches of rain. I'm a bit more concerned about maybe some localized flooding. I don't expect a lot of flash flooding, but maybe we might see some of those low lying areas just really pick up a lot of that water and we need it because the drought back on April 7th, we were dealing with severe drought to moderate drought. Even some spots in the southwest sides of North Texas, extreme drought. We saw some improvement, saw a little bit more improvement with the latest information coming out today, but still we could use a whole lot of rain and thankfully there is some on the way. Now today we didn't really see that cloud cover that was in place still is in place in the east sides of North Texas. The west sides seeing some more sunshine. Now you can see a Toyota Stadium right now. It's been another breezy day with our winds out of the south to the southeast gusting up to near 30 miles per hour or higher. That's what we have right now at DFW under mostly cloudy skies. So another muggy day and where we've seen more sunshine through the day. We're still in the upper 80s to the low 90s where the clouds have been hanging on upper 70s to the low 80s. So in to tonight our temperatures cool their way down to the upper 70s by 11 by midnight 77 degrees. We're going to be seeing our temperatures starting out tomorrow morning. Another warm one upper 60s to the low 70s. So plan for another humid day uh, into tomorrow. We're going to be seeing those breeze the wind and the breezy conditions out of the south southeast near 20 to 25 or up to 87. Now the seven day forecast shows with that cold front moving in. We're back down to 80 for the high Sunday Monday only 70 by Tuesday morning 52 degrees. Nice little change on the way in the dug by next Wednesday and Thursday. We start to warm back up by next Thursday. We have probably cloudy skies and temperatures back into the upper 80s. Like we're taking a trip around the whole country here in the yeah. next five or seven days. Scott, thanks. Tomorrow